Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm doing this introduction quickly in better lighting and I'm just going to warn you that the future clips do not have good lighting because they are in my bathroom and so the lighting is really really weird and I apologize for it but I hope that you can kind of see what's going on and it makes sense to you so definitely check that out and yeah I'll see you in my bathroom. <laughs> Um, today I am going to be showing you my top three heatless, quick hairstyles. Um, and I'm really excited for this one because I've been trying not to use as much heat on my hair and aren't we all. And so I think that this is a great video to kind of show the things that I do when I don't feel like using heat on my hair. And before we get started, these slight curls that are in my hair, hair at the moment, we're not done heatlessly. I did use my curling iron on them, so don't be thinking I have like perfect natural curls because that's a big lie. <laughs> so the first hairstyle that I'm going to be doing is the three second bun. And it's not necessarily three seconds. I saw this video on YouTube and I copied it, and this was when my hair was short, it was like to here, and I did that hairstyle all the time. Um, I do think that this um, bun works better on shorter hair, but I'll show you it on longer hair and the things that I do to make it work with longer hair as well. So, um, all you need is one ponytail holder. So what you do is you just put it on your head um, and just pull your hair back. And you can smooth it out as much or as little as you like. It's completely up to you. So once you have it up, and you can do it as high or low as you want. I think that it's easier to do it higher, but you could try it out lower too. All you're going to do is you take your ponytail holder. You pull it through about near the end, but not all the way. And then you twist it and put it back over. And that's it. That's your three second bun. The problem with long hair is that you get a lot of this, but that's what bobby pins are for, right? You just pin it however you want. Um, you can also take this bun and kind of stretch it out a little, make it bigger, mess it up more. Um, there's a lot of variations with this bun, but I absolutely love doing this on days where I don't really have the time to completely do my hair. Um, and you can use bobby pins to pin it however you want. Like if I honestly wanted my bun in front of my head, I could pin it like this. I have this cool thing going on here. So I love doing this bun because it's really quick and then you can just pin it however you want. So that is my first heatless hairstyle. The second heatless hairstyle I'm going to be doing is a half ponytail. It's not that exciting and I'm sure you've seen it before, but it's one of my go-tos. So. What I do is I smooth my hair back because I don't really like having a part with this because I make it really high and I go um, like at the base of my ear and start pulling back. Um, basically, you just want as much hair as possible. The majority of your hair is in the ponytail um, and there shouldn't be too much left underneath. All right, this is honestly one of my go-to hairstyles because when my hair is behind me like this, I don't have to worry about it or think about it at all. There's still um, hair left underneath, but I don't know, when there's this little amount of hair, I don't really care about it as much, so that's nice for me. Um, I also like this because sometimes I braid this, sometimes I will wrap it up and put it in a bun. There's so many different variations on this. And me personally, I'm trying to accept my natural hair more. And so um, this hair underneath, I try to keep it as natural as possible. Um, usually that means spraying it with my favorite um, beach spray, which is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. Um, that stuff kind of gives my hair um, very loose waves. Sometimes it doesn't seem to work at all, but um, 
I just really like it because there's not much hair underneath and so there's not much to show. Um, and I just really like this hairstyle. <laughs> it's just my personal opinion. <laughs> Alright, this third hairstyle, I'm going to be doing two variations on it. So this is um, a hairstyle very similar to what my mom used to do when I was little. And she called it the Juliet, and I really like that because I love her being the Juliet. So the first thing that I'm going to do is start twisting my hair. So you grab a chunk of hair, grab a second chunk, and you just twist. You're not braiding. You're just taking the two hairs and twisting them against each other. I don't know if you can see this my horrible camera <laughs> and um, we're gonna do this all the way around the back so I'm gonna do that quickly and just as a note make sure that you pull this hair in the back smoothly down so there's no weird creases or and then once you get to this side sneaking away um, I just take a little clip and I pin it so it stays. And then I'm going to do the same up here. Alright, and then once you're there, you take out the clip. And then you just take your ponytail holder and fasten it into place. All right, and from here, this is often where I would use my um, texturizing spray, kind of fix this up to make it um, fuller or thicker, I guess. And this is honestly one of my most favorite hairstyles to do because it keeps my hair back and out of my face, um, but it still has this really pretty look right here. You can also do this, um, twisting my hair in a bun and I think that that creates a really cute look as well if you just have it in a bun there as well um but if you don't like a bun next to your ear you could just do this into the middle and do a bun in the back it's completely up to you <laughs> um I'm going to do one more variation of this and which is French braiding and then I'll show you that one so okay so for any of you who have not done a French braid before, I'll kind of show you the basics, but I don't think I'm very good at teaching. Um, I think that this would also look really good with a Dutch braid or an inverted braid, but I am not good at those at all. Um, I will link my favorite Dutch braid tutorial down below so you guys can check that out and maybe try it out yourselves, but I'm just gonna do a regular French braid for my hair. So, you're going to take three pieces instead of just two and you go over with one over with another and over with the third and each time you just collect more hair I'm telling you I'm so bad at explaining a French braid if you guys want a really good French braid tutorial I'll find one and link it down below because that was horrible, let's be honest. <laughs> My hair tangles so easily when I do French braids. I'm just gonna warn you guys, this is not a very good one. Also, I would definitely practice French braiding a lot before you do this. Um, because French braiding on the back of your head is actually really difficult. <laughs> hair is curled. Sometimes it's really cute to leave your hair down like that. But I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, from here, I don't usually French braid this front part because that just sounds really complicated to me. And from here, I would just go into a braid down the side. And then I'm going to pull it down and 
put an elastic on there. And to loosen this braid. This is the finished look. Um, occasionally, sometimes, if you have a really big thing here, like I definitely do right now, I will twist it. And then I will just pin it. This bobby pin is majorly broken. And then that's not in my face as much. And then I still have my braid. This piece of hair is the worst. <sighs> All right. This one does not look as good as the other one, but it sometimes does. I swear it's a good hairstyle. So um, I don't know if you can see it, but this has a French braid that's running down the back and to the side. <sighs> Um, this is definitely not the best time I've ever done it. It's usually cuter, but you get the basic idea and that's kind of all that matters to me right now. So those are my top three heatless hairstyles. Let me know what you guys thought and in the comments below, let me know which one was your favorite. Um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you do any of these hairstyles, please tag me in your photos using hashtag cowgirlkaylee. I really do love seeing the photos that you do and the different stuff that you do with your hair. So please subscribe to my channel and check out my blog and I will see you all next time. Bye. I was giving you everything I had to give.